The time is right to hold me tight. Lord, got me high. Don't say yes. Please don't say no, honey. Not tonight. Now move a little close to me. You owe it to yourself. I will selfishly take a little for myself. And it's because of you that love won't let me wait. That's it. Listen, baby. Yeah, okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to we to the to the show where we talk about this mental stuff that we have to deal with. So we choose to call it our mental house so we can deal with our mentals and what is going on on the planet. And um the first thing I just want to say because I didn't take the time to do a video about him and everybody is you know, wondering why. Um, and it's very interesting, in my opinion, that uh, a lot of people just, you know, want to hear, you know, my take on this guy. Because I guess, I don't know, and I would hope I don't have a reputation of bashing people. Because this is not, I'm too old for that. You know? I've been through my 30s, 40s, and 50s. And if I haven't learned anything better at this age, then, wow, not good. So what I, but, but what I did want to talk about quickly and briefly is the guy, uh, Kevin Samuels, who passed away. And, um, whether I think there's laws of karma or if laws of karma don't play, you know, an important role in our lives. Let me say this. None of us are going to be here forever. Okay. And y'all better start thinking about that real, real clear. You know, yes, I want to live. I want to live to I'm um, 90. I want to watch my grandbaby have grandchildren have you know that's an ideal but i know that i'm gonna have to leave here i also know there's laws and anchors of my ox there are tenets that we must follow as human beings and if we don't we can shorten our life right one of those things is when you forget to always put God first and forget to thank him for all the multiple blessings that he has given us all this far. Because ain't nobody promised you nothing. Nobody promised us we was going to have a beautiful life. Nobody promised you it was going to be easy. The, and the only time we're going to get some real, real sustainable peace, in my opinion, because there's no perfect place here on earth. But I've found a spot that I think would be peaceful for me. But does that mean it's the most peaceful spot in the world? No. Because this is Satan's domain. Okay? 
This is Satan's domain, in my opinion. This is all where Satan lives. And you're really probably going to find that peace that you're looking for when, if you can take the time to meditate. If you can take that time to thank God for the flowers and the roses. Some of y'all think that's corny talk. And that, to me, is dangerous. And I say that to say it, uh, I, I wouldn't rejoice in somebody's death. Um, well, unless I felt that they were maybe a immediate threat on my life. Right? But in in all reality... I, I don't feel that way because some guy talks about us or talks about black women as if they're not to be honored and respected. That's his opinion. Black women are beautiful. Black women have everything going on. And of course, just like there's a subculture of black women, there's a subculture of black men. And those are probably the people he's speaking to. But the fact, the very fact that people think that there's no such things as laws of karma disturbs me. Because I don't really think you know what it means. Karma doesn't have to hit you. It could hit your children. And you should live your life like you know that. It don't have to hit you. It could hit your mama. And for every action, there's a reaction. I want to put out more good at the end of my life. When they put my life on the scales of my, I, I wanted to tip a little bit with somebody said, I tried to do more good than bad. And if those of y'all don't care about that, you're going to die one day. I wish some of your gangbanger friends or some of your uh, friends that died naturally could tell you that. Come back and plant it in your ear. But you know that's not going to happen. And if it did, you wouldn't listen no way. You'd probably run out. The bottom line is, the, I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make is, Kevin Samuels said a lot of things that was derogatory and just disrespectful to women. Okay? And it's just ironic. It's just ironic. That he left just like the guys that he talks about or the women that he talked about from what I gather in his videos. He really was alone and he was, you know, with somebody that he pro probably paid sex for that night. Um, and no, um, how should I say it? No high value situation. It's like you don't even, you don't know the person. Most people think you probably stopped off at one of these drug stores, which is neither here nor there, and got you some of that street Viagra because you're such a young man. But I don't think that none of us should rejoice in somebody's death. Because now you're sending out laws in the universe and karma law, karmatic laws that some of y'all just don't believe in, and I don't know why. You better do some spiritual, so spiritual work. Do some spiritual work. Because if you think karma and karmatic laws aren't real, Then you hurting not only yourself, you hurting your offspring, your family members, and everybody else. Because some of them believe it, and they don't want to be a victim because of your misbelief and your bad energy that you putting out there. I promise you, for every, for every action, 
there's a reaction. It's cause and effect. And laws of karma and the laws of the universe govern us. If I jump my butt up off my house right now, the laws of gravity are not going to hold me up. But if, then I'm going to jump, fall right down on this ground and fall apart. But by the same token, if I was outside of this universe, the laws of gravity would keep me in space. It would keep me in motion. It would allow me to float. So those laws are real. Laws of gravity, the laws of motion, the laws of this universe. And Kevin Samuels was not worth, first of all, my, I mean, I, his message was not for me. The sad part about it is most black women hate him, but they were the majority of the supporters of his channel, from what I understand. It makes no sense. And what it goes to show me is we freaks for pain. Because why would I go keep listening to somebody that's hurting me and insulting me or telling me I'm not worth it and I'm damaged goods? and I'm Why would I even want to go listen to him talk about me like that? Unless I got a pain body and I'm addicted to pain, addicted to drama, addicted to somebody talking negative to me, addicted to feeling bad about myself and he just validated for me. So I go looking for him in his channel to be uh, validated by my wretched condition. That to me makes no sense, people. But what I am trying to say, you know, is may his family Um, find some kind of peace in his death. You have my condolences. And I'm not the kind of person that's going to tap dance on a living, uh, I mean, a person's death. He didn't live his life to the point where I thought he was trying to destroy black uh, women. But he probably did. I, like I said, I didn't listen to his content, so I don't want to go too far off. I don't want y'all writing me and, you know, but the but but the bottom line is we don't need to rejoice in his demise. The laws of this universe will catch up with you. And if you think they won't, go and ask your grandmama what do she think about it. Because some of y'all don't know enough yet. So I'll see y'all in the next video.